Hello and welcome back to Quartzlight, your car brochure channel. Today's episode, oh, we're going to continue looking at the 1982 Dodge Police Vehicles. Hello and welcome back to Quartzlight. If you're new to Quartzlight, we're a car brochure channel looking at car brochures from around the world here on YouTube for the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s sometimes beyond that as well so if you think that may interest you as a car brochure collector or indeed just an enthusiast for older cars please consider subscribing so today, yeah, so we're going to continue looking at these Dodge police vehicles so without further ado, let's see where we're up to so here is the brochure. Yes, we've already looked last week at this Dodge Diplomat police vehicle. So let's move on to see what's next in this particular range. And yes, it is this, the 1982 Dodge Ares Police Scout Car. I like think of this, like the previous model was kind of like your pursuit vehicle. This is kind of like your non-pursuit vehicle, I guess. More of your around town uh, policing. There is a bit of a better picture in colour, so I'll show you that before we look at some of the specs. So here is the colour picture of the Dodge Ares. Like I say, a scout car. So we're not talking about those big pursuit vehicles. They're kind of like what you think more of with the American police cars. This is more for your around town uh, services, like I said. Kind of like saving you a little bit of money. I think these are actually front wheel drives. We'll look at the specs in a moment. Still got the, the emblem, hood emblem there, even though it's a police car. But look at these black steel wheels. Not even any hubcaps in the centre, which you kind of like think of with police cars. And being the 80s, a huge light on the top there, almost looking out of scale on this size of vehicle. Anyway, let's go back to the specs, learn a little bit more about it. So definitely your cost saving option. It says the new Dodge Aries front wheel drive police scout car. Economical, roomy, comfortable, easy to service. I think really the key here is saving a bit of money from having those huge police cars around town. It tells us the new Dodge Aries Scout car is the ideal police car for in-town and around-town police duties that don't require pursuit work. It's the kind of police work that occupies the most time in many police departments. A few strategically placed pursuit cars can handle the occasional high-speed run. The Dodge Aries Scout car can handle all the other jobs and do them more economically. So this is a front wheel drive and it's a four cylinder engine, excellent traction and directional stability with two big benefits of front wheel drive. The traction benefit results from engine and transaxle weight bearing on the front wheels, which gives the tires a better grip on the road in most driving conditions. And it gives the car better directional stability, especially in crosswinds. And then it goes to tell us, you know, this is a 2.2 litre four cylinder engine. Obviously, if you don't read any more than I'm going to read here, you can pause the screen at any time because it does get a little bit wordy. It rather unusually then gives a little bit of list of parts and components that can be served, served just by lifting the hood, which is a little bit strange, isn't it? But that, that's kind of like what it's trying to sell it as. And then it's trying to sell us on, you know, even though it looks like a small car, there's actually more room in there than you might think. It's telling you, you know, it can seat six passengers, amazingly enough. Um, and then it goes on to tell us the Dodge Aries Police Scout car gives you more stretch out room and comfort than you might expect in a fuel efficient car. Front headroom and legroom, the most important comfort dimensions in police duty, are actually bigger than an 81 Ford LTD and Fairmont, you know, big cars, Mercury Marquis and Zephyr. And there's more front leg room than in an 81 Cadillac. So it's really trying to show you really that it's a very much a more of an, a cheaper, more economical car for the police service, but also saying, you know, there's more room than you might think. It's telling us it's got heavy duty front seat construction because, you know, 
It's going to be doing the miles even though it's just a town car. And then it gives us a little image here of a standard old vinyl front seat. Doesn't look very nice really for spending a long time in those seats. Not much support is there in vinyl. I don't know about you, but I'm not a, a huge fan of vinyl seats. Although I guess they are kind of hard wearing, aren't they? It tells us the Aries instrument cluster is attractive and highly readable with speed odometer and fuel gauge directly in front of the driver. Gauges for engine temperature, voltmeter and oil pressure are available in the optional gauge package code F96. And then it gives us a list of other features for the Dodge Aries Scout car. It's got things like a heavy duty suspension package, all sorts of things, um, and high performance tyres. Even though it tells us this is just for around town, it's saying we've got high performance tyres on the police spec version. This is quite interesting at the bottom here, where it tells us it's got reinforced front and rear body structure with additional welding above the standard model. Even though this is a police spec vehicle, it is different um, variations on that. We can have vinyl, although we can have cloth if we want to as an option, or heavy duty all vinyl. And there are various different um, colours of seats on there as well. Um, it looks like the seat types tend to be straight bench only, that seems to be the only option though. Okay, and then it gives us some uh, special equipment um, that is purely for the police package. So the Dodge Airy standard equipment with the A38 Scout car package. So let's have a look at some of this. So it starts off by giving some of this standard equipment and obviously it's using Fahrenheit here because this is obviously an American brochure. So it goes through anti-freeze, free, anti I should say, armrests, ashtray, etc, etc. But if we move down the list, it gives like extra things, like the body, less reinforced force structure and additional welding, I think is really interesting. Uh, power brakes, um, carpeted floor, colour keyed, very nice. Catalytic converter, coolant recovery system. And then it tells us about the engine, this 2.2 litre and the engine cooling package, which would be special for the, this police spec, engine indicator light, um, tell it's front wheel drive, heater and defrost, ignition, mirrors, oil filter, oil pressure warning lights, parking brake warning lights. Going on about the seats, speedometer, non-certified 85 miles per hour speedometer, steering power, suspension, tires, spur. This automatic um, transmission, which calls it torque flight, which is only a free speed actually, and it's column mounted, a uh, little rain selector there etc etc uh, but let's have a look at some of the optional equipment with this package so with the a38 package you can add things like air conditioning um, defroster rear window a dorm light engine block heater of course for the colder states gauge packages glass which is tinted hose clamps key you can have a single key uh, which can be used for all um, locks on the car but you can actually get this universal one which you know if you get a fleet of these the same key would be used in all your fleet you know you can see they're quite basic because you know optional equipment a lamp glove box etc etc mats on the floor re radio delete option heavy duty seats etc etc and then you can have this speedometer which is actually certified for 125 i guess for a bit more accuracy and some spotlights on that if you wish there is your code for the dodge scout car package with the code 838 so it's dl41 four-door sedan um, aries your tyres there, um, which are going to be on heavy duty wheels, those are big black steel wheels we saw at the start there. And here, interesting, it does tell you there's an optional Mitsubishi engine, with a 2.6 litre. So that's an interesting different option. And a silent shaft design with the 2.6s. 
Uh, it tells you a little bit more about that free speed automatic uh, gearbox. Ends by telling us about he heavy duty stroke front suspension, trailing arm suspension for the rear, uh, rack and pinion steering, and extensive anti corrosion protection. I don't particularly remember these uh, Dodge Aries police cars. I must have met, I always kind of like picture those big American police cars. But if you remember them, even just seeing them on films, do let me know. I'm trying to think, I'm sure I must have seen it in a film somewhere, this, but um, I just can't picture it. So we've got the Dodge Aries police scout car. An interesting little car. There is just one more Dodge police vehicle in this series, which we'll have a look at next week. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Uh, we'll see you very soon. Take care. All the best. And goodbye.